Peter asked Jesus a question. Jesus, how many times should I forgive someone? Should I forgive them seven times? Seven in the Hebrew culture was the number of complete perfection, the same number of the days that it took for God to make the world. So seven was really significant number for the Peter. No, Jesus answered. In fact, you should forgive them 70 times seven, which is kind of like infinity. And then he told Peter and the others around a story. He said, once upon a time, there was a master who was going over the accounts in his books, looking to see who owed him money. And he realized a servant owed him thousands of dollars, thousands of bags of gold. So he pulled the servant in and said, where is my money? Oh, the servant said, please give me some more time. The master said, I want my money back. And if you don't give it to me, I'm going to put you and your wife and your kids in jail. The servant said, please don't do that. I will do my absolute best. Please forgive me. The master thought for a while and decided, okay, he would forgive the man. A little while later, that servant was talking to someone else. And he said, you owe me money. Where is it? And the second servant said, oh, please, just give me some forgiveness. I can't pay it back. The first servant said, not good enough. I'm going to make sure you pay me back every single thing you have. The second servant was really upset. Well, the master heard about this. And the master said, what do you think you were doing? I forgave you, but you can't forgive someone else? Forget it. Your forgiveness is withdrawn. You are going to jail. So the servant went off and he was kept. Now Jesus told this story and explained that it's like that in God's kingdom. If we can't learn to forgive, then we're not going to have any place in it because the bitterness in us is going to prevent us from seeing all the wonderful things God has in store. So forgiveness is 70 times 70. All the forgiveness in the world. That's what God asks us to do.